Hey. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey, hey. How you doing? I'm all right. Okay, just over here, just panicking. Don't panic. But it's okay because, like I said, like Kendrick Lamar said, we're gonna be all right. We are. Yes, we are. How are you? I'm good. Yeah, that's good. Yes. I look all plain. I'm sorry, I don't have no no background, y'all. I'm sorry, I look a little plain. No, you look you good. Know? Girl. You look like your bright, lovely self. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Oh, man. I miss your physical energy. How have you been doing through this COVID stuff, like, in the <sighs> pandemic, being it's in your house? So, it's just crazy. It's just really crazy, you know. Usually, I like to just go out, go out to eat, go to the movies, go bowling. It's always something. I always have to plan something. But being in the house is just like it's very humbling to me. Uh-huh. Um, for people like me who are always running around or always doing something, whether it's for work or for your personal life or anything, it just kind of gives you like a just like a, a moment to show you that you just need to sit down sometimes and just relax. And so, yeah, Miss Rona said y'all need to sit down and relax. And so uh-huh. that's what we're doing. It's okay because we're going exactly. to it. But I'm all right for the most part. Work's going great. Um, everyone that I love, I've been checking in, and they're all right. So it's been going good. But enough about me. What about you? I feel the same way. Yeah, I feel very blessed to, like, still be working because I know a lot of people aren't able to. Um, um, working from home is pretty pretty good. I'm glad to be ending my day, like, my work day today with this um, and this content that we're about to share. But the pandemic and coronavirus like is really serious. I just want people to stay home so we can go outside sooner rather than later. All we want to do is just go outside. Right. I'm trying to go sit at a restaurant. Look cute. Do something. Yes. Well, um, thanks for everyone that's in our live right now. For those who don't know me, my name is Camille. I am a peer testing ambassador um, for Women Walking Health at our youth services location, and my pronouns are she, her, hers. Yes, and my name is Sol. I'm one of the social media influencers for Community Health, and I'm also a community liaison and our educator for The Corner, which is the, the new cultural center on 14th Street. So when all this is over, hopefully everybody can come out and like really get together and create some change. So is lit, y'all. Y'all might not know. I know some of y'all know, but she's lit, honey. Okay. I Just love a little it. bit. Just a little bit. Anyway, so for the past couple of months, you know, Women Walker has um, utilized the community health department to expand its outreach efforts to the social media platform. And we're covering various topics about HIV, STI, sexual health practices, access to care, social determinants of health, and general public health interventions. So for the past, uh, for the next few weeks, join us here every Wednesday on IG for our Wednesday, our Women Wednesday series, where we'll be t- talking about all things women health, prep for women, sexual health health, disparities, and access. So the community health team and the rest of the Women Walker team is here for you. Always and forever, y'all. Yes. We her, we her. Um, so just like So said, it is our um, Women Wednesdays. Woo-woo. Y'all know we were talking about some women empowerment and stuff my face okay um but today's topic is on um prep for women so we're going to um get, provide you guys a little bit of information on um prep for women and hopefully you guys you know take this information and run with it you know um even if um that just means sharing it online you know if it just come up in a conversation with you and your friends just share 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 um information is very important and it's actually very good information um that you guys will be receiving today yes so what are we really talking about let's get into it today yeah so um okay let's see let's see so so um did you know that certain people have a higher chance of um contracting hiv than others yes i actually did i know a lot of people who look like us okay because you know you know but it's okay so it's 90 percent effective Uh um with sex, we you know with seventy percent effective with injection drug use. Um, but can you explain to us when prep is effective? 
Yeah, so when you're taking PrEP, it's PrEP for her, it's effective when you're taking it every day for 20 days and then forward to be fully effective. Um, so 20 days is the time that the time frame that it takes takes for the actual PrEP pill to be present in the vaginal t tissue. So that's why t 20 days is recommended, but you should probably, you know, keep doing it every day if you're trying to stay on top of your sexual health. Right. So um, just want to emphasize 20 days every day. Every day is keyword with PrEP to me. That's really how I remember it. Um, well, it's other ways that I remember it, but in the taking it wise, just every, every day, I ain't gonna say every day, I'm gonna say every day is the word. Every day. I like that word. I think that's gonna be my new word. <laughs> um, so, how um, do we know if prep is right for us or for somebody? Okay, well, um, I could just list off a couple reasons why PrEP um, is right for anyone who's thinking about it. Um, if you don't always use condoms when um, you're having both vaginal or anal sex, um, you don't always ask your partners to wear a condom. You would know if PrEP is right for you if you've been diagnosed with an STI or sexually transmitted infection um, in the past six months. You're unsure of your um, HIV status of your sexual partners. Also, if you're in a relationship and you do not know if your partner is or is not um, taking their HIV treatment correctly, you are a person who um, is, you know, a person who injects drugs or um, you're in a relationship with a person who injects drugs. Or also, um, simply, if you're just HIV negative and all the information seems perfect for you, um, then you, you would just read up on PrEP and see if it's right for you. Yeah. Um, do you have any other um, any on any other points? So, um, some other things could be if you have sex with um, multiple partners, if you worry about getting HIV and that like affects your enjoyment of sex, you should just you know get something that can um, help you get rid of that worry. Also, worries like getting HIV, um, stopping from stopping you from having the sex that you want, if you change sex partners frequently, if you or your partners are known to suspect to have other partners or change partners frequently, or if you're from a country with a high um, HIV prevalence, um, or if you even travel to countries with um, high HIV prevalence and you have sex with people you meet there. All right, sounds great. And so um, just to backtrack a little, so I see a question. And so the question says, can you explain the 20 days versus um, every day again, especially for women? Um, so let me go back to my notes here. But really, it's just the 20 days is a time frame for the the pill, the prep pill to be active in your vaginal tissue and to start mm -hmm. um, helping prevent um, S um, HIV. Um, and then once you're on it, you want to continue taking it every day. So it stays effective. Yeah, so it stays effective. Uh -huh. Not yeah. mm -hmm. But... um. When you're taking PrEP for her, it's effective in only preventing HIV. It's not for STIs, and it doesn't prevent pregnancy. So PrEP for her can only be used. Um, PrEP can be used with other STI prevention methods, and as well as methods of contraception, but not to prevent STIs. All right, just another safe for sex tool. Right, yes. You know, looking exactly. at your toolbox that's dedicated to you, you know. Um, check out your toolbox, and you know, you see what works with. It's all about seeing what works for you. Yeah, um, exactly. It's just another safer sex tool. That's how I look at prep. Um, it's a great way to look at prep. Um, just when you're talking about it, and when you're thinking about trying to get on it as well, you just that's the first thing that should come to mind. It's just it's just a safer sex tool. Just another one. And yeah. Like, ah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> my flew over somebody, you know, here. But I hope somebody <laughs> No, I got that. Right. Mm -mm, mm -mm. But you can take it with other treatments, right? Um, yeah, you can take it with other treatments. 
So PrEP could be um, used alongside of trans folks' hormones. Um, it will not bring down any, we won't change any effectiveness of the hormones when you're taking PrEP. Um, it's super important for trans women um, because they're the most affected group by HIV. Um, PrEP can be taken with all contraceptive methods too, so it will not harm any hormones that anyone is taking. Um, for trans folks, it's just another tool. Um, and I would like to emphasize the word safe. Um, also, when just thinking about this, for example, it doesn't affect anything. It doesn't affect um, the hormone treatment. So it's just overall just safe for people to use if they are taking other hormones. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, let's see if there are any other questions. Yeah. Is it true that PrEP is only effective if the positive person has a lower viral count? Ooh. You know, oh, I am not personally educated enough on that to on this topic to answer that question, um, Queen Agnes. But Whitman, we do have Whitman Walker aides that are um, answering questions too through the comments. Yep. So um, I would suggest, um, I honestly, um, so down below, it is pinned with information on um, with phone numbers and things like that for you to give people calls. Um, Agnes, that is actually a very good question that I also want to know the answer to as well. But yeah. um, I would just suggest giving one of those phone numbers a call um, and just, you know, we'll get you a connection with someone who knows more about the uh, the topic and they will yes. greatly assist you. But thank you for the awesome question though. Um, now I'm over here trying, trying to think like, well, okay. Yeah. I want to know too, Agnes, when you find out, girl, let me know, let me know. Yes. I think that's all the questions that were in the comments. Hi, everybody right that's now. joining. Right. Yes. Hello. <laughs> okay, so so um, so if someone is interested in getting on prep, can you let them know how to access it at Women Walker Health? So you can access prep for her through the prepfordc.com, which is the Women Walker um, website, which has all the prep information. So you can go there, and you can also, like we also said, the phone number is pinned to the screen, and you can call that number if you have any other questions on how to access it. Women Walker and the connection? Yeah, so has Women Walker shared any, like, comparative data about women on PrEP? So, um... Actually, while the number of newly diagnosed HIV cases continue to grow um, among women, especially women like us, women of color, um, studies have found that these groups have a low perceived risk of contracting HIV. Um, so, you know, most PrEP advertisements aim towards men um, and generally um, MSM or men who have sex with men. Um, we're just trying to <clears throat> push out of that a little bit and go towards our, our women with color. Um, we've noticed that they do not have a lot of information around PrEP, but um, actually want to know more information around PrEP. So um, just trying to, you know, advertise it more, get more women on PrEP, get you more information, and just get yeah. you, you know, just get you doing what you do, right, you know? Yeah, because there's a lot of people on PrEP in D.C., but they're mostly men. And women could be using the pill, too. And that's why Prep for Her is a campaign that um, we're trying to push. Through and Prep for Her is a, a, yep, and it's a great campaign. Um, just offering information um, that a lot of people just genuinely just don't know. Uh -huh. um, and for it to be kind of, um, well, for us to create Prep for Her to push it out towards the women of color, um, and the community is actually just beyond great to me. Yeah. Um, I'm very big on advocacy, love speaking out for people who are sometimes afraid to speak out for themselves or who just simply just don't know the information. Um, so just overall, great. 
Okay, come on, ask me. My mom works in HIV AIDS awareness section, and those are the kind of people we love. Yes. I heard if you're having sex, you're at risk, so it's a great tool. Yes, that's right, a touch of two, yeah. Yes, it is. Who do I thought I saw? Um, let's say, perhaps effectiveness has no correlation to another person's viral load. Now, come through, LC. <laughs> oh, thank you for that. Yes. We appreciate that. You know, we're just going to say something that we didn't know because we don't want to be out here misinforming people. Mm -hmm. um, so, a lot of fake news. Okay. Yeah, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the fake news is just getting out of hand at this point. Um, but do you have any like rough numbers or anything of how many people are enrolled in prep in DC? So I know since 2017, at least 314 of every 100,000 people in DC were prep users. But like we said before, a majority of them were men. So we're really trying to push more women and women of color to Which try it out. Cool. Yeah, the lady. try this safe, try this safe sex tool out. We call them yes. on you, ladies. See if it's another tool you can add to your box. You know, um, just yes. all depending on you <laughs> as a woman. Um, me personally, just like. You know, you get the information, you just, you test things out and you see what works for you. Um, I'm a pretty open person, so I read up on everything. Um, I usually give things a try as well, but, you know, you just have to be in tune with yourself um, yeah. to know what things you are willing to try or you want to try. You know, knowing your habits or knowing, you know, what you do in your free time, but uh -huh. I, I generally think prep is great. I think it's great. Nice. The game changer. Thanks. Well, thank you so much for having this conversation with me. It was so good. Yeah, thank you, girl. Thank you, girl. And all the people out there. Yeah, safe sex is the best. Best sex. Double up. It. Prep and condoms can't be too safe. Yep. Show can't show can. And in this yes. COVID situation, y'all, it's okay. Just remember. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Yeah, I usually like Beyonce myself. Mm. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. You can never go wrong uh -oh. with a little uh oh, uh oh, when you wash You can hands, never you know? go wrong with a little Beyonce. Just a, just a, just a, like a. But you can also <laughs> never go wrong with a little Ashanti. Mm. Maybe a little baby. Maybe a little rain on me. But you know, feel like I can sing, but you know, just she do, she do. She's for the R and B girls. She's for the R and B princesses, the ones that be singing in the shower, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that can really hit that note, but only in the shower. Only <laughs> in the shower, okay? Or That's when they wash your hands. You know you gotta wash your hands for like twenty seconds. So I think that's how we should close out the yeah. live. Yeah. I'm gonna go. Yeah. I'm gonna wash Don't my hands. You. Don't forget your face. That's all you can do in the house is go to the bathroom and wash your hands. That's all you can do. For fun during this I did quarantine. like 20 times in like 50 minutes. I'm trying not to get up and wash my hands now because I didn't really go anywhere. Just been sitting at the table, okay? Yes, Beehive. Of course. I okay, you so my other than, other than okay. washing your hands, you know, make sure you wear your face mask. Um, I know a lot of places, um, DC, Berlin, Virginia are the ones that I usually check up on. Um, they are instructing that you cannot go into your essentials, grocery stores, or anything like that without a mask on. Um, I just want everybody on here, your loved ones as well, to stay safe. Do everything that CDC and everyone else is asking you to do. Because, you know, the more we do it, the less we got to be in the house. And I'm ready to go. I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready to go. So, you ready to go? Literally. I'm ready to go. She ready, she ready to go. I'm ready to put a good fit on. I got on t shirts with blue stains on them, okay? I'm <laughs> saying I had a trip planned and Miss Rona ruined it. Very. It ruined it, man. But it's okay. It's Love okay. Happy young black woman educating on safer sex practices. Great talk. Thank you. Because, yes, you know, thank you so much. Many people of color don't really have these conversations. And that's kind of a, a thing I'm trying to break in my family is that everyone just thinks sex is like this whole 
bad thing. And it's just like, no, these conversations are needed, especially when we are presenting more information on a safer sex tool that um, it's actually great to invest in. These conversations need to be had. Um, and it's also, it's, it's, it's great if you can have those conversations, but I'm still trying to ease my way on in there. Yeah. You know what I, I, it'll be good. I think it'll be good. It'll be all right. It will. Thank you, Agnes, girl. Well, we'll be back next week. Or other people will be back next week. Or you never know. But tune in to our Wednesday Women's Health Series. Every Wednesday on IG Live. Okay. Yeah. Regardless Bye. of who there, just make sure you come. Yes, tune in. Yes, yeah. yeah, she's exactly like breaking cycles. You in the house. You done clocked out of work. I know. I know. <laughs> but one last thing before we go. So I do want to ask, you know, we going to be hearing some Ashanti today? Because I can't sing these. I'm a, I'm a, I'll sing some Ashanti. Give us like right a verse or two. Just, just a little song. A little song. Oh, she said a whole verse. Look. I said just a little I'm verse of song. Just, just, just one little song. I no, Rama's probably gonna time. be happy because she asked for um foolish. Okay. This one's for you, Rama. This one's Thank for you, girl. girl. Let me get the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, singers be doing the most. <laughs> you know what? I know we do. I know. But we I, be, do. I love the exaggeration though. I love it. It's like, girl, you better, you better go all the way up there, and I can't go. I can't even get off the ground. My singing. Okay. It's all right. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get with this verse in this um, um chorus, and then we'll log off. Baby, I don't know why you treat me so bad. You say you love me, no one above me, and I was all you had. And though my heart is beating for you, I can't stop crying. I don't know how I allow you to treat me this way, and still I stay. See, my days are cold without you. But I'm hurting while I'm with you. And though my heart can't take no more, I keep on running back to you. I see my days are cold without you. But I'm hurting while I'm with you. And though my heart can't take no more, I just keep running back. <laughs> You know, I can't sing, so I had to dance, so you know, I was running back to you, girl, you know? Yes, I'm trying to run back to you, to run to see you. I'm trying to run back to Easter Market as soon as we out this quarantine to do more lovely things with Whitman Walker in a more, like, physical setting. Yes, 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 I miss the vibe. It's just something about just face-to-face, you know? Yeah. Well, we face-to-face kind of. Yeah, we face-to-face time, too, but... But it's like, it's just the energy... Yeah. It's actual physical, you know? Yeah. Just miss it. But I have high hopes that we'll we'll be back. We'll, we will. We'll we will. We'll be back. We'll mm-hmm. see when, but we'll definitely be back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes. all I can keep saying. We'll see when, but we'll definitely be back. We'll be back. We'll know when. All right. And I, thank you guys for tuning in. Yes, thank y'all so much. Tune in next week. Tune in next week, every Wednesday, Women's Wednesday. It's going to be popping, y'all. It's for my women. Women. <laughs> Come on now. Tune in. Make sure you tune in. Bye. Yeah. Nice talking to you, though. It was so nice to talk to you, too.